Now on Monster Day. It's mayhem from Monster Hammerhead on this boat. Then it's a bow hunt deep into the night for a bizarre monster. The Razor Tooth Alligator Guard. That fish isn't stopping. This is Monster Whatever it takes. Wherever it takes them. It's a hunt for monster fish. Jeff Gowdy, America's sportsman. And Dennis Brave, Australia's legend. Two men dedicated to one thing. Catching the biggest fish on the planet. Tango with the Titans. Watch out! Whoa! I'm Trev Gowdy. Monster fish. Miami Beach, a place for monsters. Monster hammerheads swim within sight of the skyline. My search for monster jihads starts with a short trip to the canals of South Beach on board the Striker One, a 50-foot hatteras owned by the famed South Florida shark hunter, Martha Shark. Mark's handled more big sharks than anyone alive, and with 30 years in the business, he knows what it was. We don't have to go too far. Monster sharks right off of South Beach, Miami. You can see Miami Beach in the background. We're only about a mile and a half off the coast where people are actually swimming, jet skiing, and kayaking. You won't get me in order. Any place off Miami Beach. No way. No how. Shark fishing is all about the bait. There aren't any artificial lures for sharks, really, except for some fly patterns. Mark covers the water column, bottom to top, with fresh dead bonita. This is Timmy, designer of this boat chair, but this is his hot tub. That is the hot tub. 500 gallons for all the bait. You can put bonita in here. And at the end of the day, get rid of the bait and put the girls in there. <laughs> Early in the day, something starts chopping a bait on the bottom. Mark tends the boat to get a direct pull on the hooks. I jump into the fighting chair. I can't touch the wheel. I just watch the line melt away. Is it a five-footer or a record breaker? He doesn't want to come up. This fighting chair that Mark's put on his boat is called a Lee's fighting chair. This chair is mounted all the way down to the keel of the boat on four to five feet out over the water at least. And it's really a wild way to fight a fish. Now Mark's done a good tactic here with me. This main rod here is on the bottom on the edge of the gold ring. A surface ring and one three quarters of the way down are marked with balloons. So we're covering all the water column here. The bottom, mid-range, and surface. Mark would tell you, these monster hammerheads will come up in the surface and whack these bait. We pretty much own the water down here in the ground. Is that some color? That color? It's a rat fish, a rat. We just take the small ones out of the way. Even a small shark inflicts a nasty bite. So Mark secures this six-footer with ropes and a jaw gun. Bar. This is sandbar about six and a half foot. Very, very common in Miami Beach area. These are the kind of sharks that uh, wander close to shore, terrorizing a lot of bait fish and a lot of baiters. The rat. Mark the rat. It's no longer Mark the shark, it's Mark the rat. Oh, ho. 
The challenge has been made in the hunt for monster fish. Can you hear me up there, Mark? A lot of pressure up here, a lot of pressure. <laughs> Right now we're going to head a little further south. The Gulf Stream's doing about four or five knots today. So whenever we get a fish on, the current's pulling us back to the north again. So head back south and uh, put everything back out again. Nice fresh bonita. This is what you want for months to shirt. Just caught this this morning. Great scent. But got a lot of good blood scent also. These are used to four times strong last stronger hook. This is the boost. Uh, triple edge point here. Very important. Penetrating power. Two big hooks to the back, front mouth. We'll put these on the bottom, three to four hundred feet. Also, fillets off the balloon under the surface. Where we're fishing using this light is about four hundred feet down. It's pitch black, two or three pound weight. And out she goes. Down to the black cap. A hammerhead snout is a wide brow of sensory organs, including some that can detect half of one billionth of a volt in electrical impulse from a bait fish. Hey, Trevor, we've been here over an hour. We don't get a bite here soon. Let's get the hell out. We're going to deep water. We need a bite here, man. I'm getting bored. Boredom won't last long in monster water. When one of the lines starts going out slowly, Tim and I get ready for battle. But the mini monster is teasing us. Still feel them on there, Trev? Yeah, not much, though. Uh, Probably a rat right now. Just don't feel them all. Yeah. Nothing. Bait. He was hanging around the back of it the whole time. He didn't have the hook to his mouth. Uh, yeah, the bait was bigger than the hammer. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. But inside of the Miami skyline, a hunt for monster fish turned up a few days. And then, you guess who showed up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, big hammer coming. Put it in the water. Put it in the water. Put it in the water. Don't come on. Don't worry about that. Throw that. Throw that. I can't. Big hammer coming. Throw that. Throw that. Put it in the water. 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 Put it in the Hammerhead is a local name for the scalloped hammerhead. Down to the depths again. A subspecies second only to the greater hammerhead. Whoa, whoa. It's like a freight train. You can't slow the big hammerhead down. She's in the current now. She knows what she's doing. It'll be a long time before you bring this one up. Whoa. Oh, right here. You definitely got to be up to the surface. Look at my line. Yep. All right, three foot coming up. Let's keep this tight. After two hours of fight, I get the fish in close. Some color on her. Mark and I get ready to end this battle, and Tim gets a leader in hand. Ooh, nice. Wow, nice. 
and then the shark tears away and runs over 300 yards of line off. A little bit, a little bit new energy. Whoa, whoa, look at him go! Whoa! A little stalemate here. You can come right back up and throw another 800 feet of line off if you want. That's my case. I've been in this chair about three hours now, but I think I can get this monster to the boat once more. There she comes. Mark takes his shot and gets a line into the fish. Any big shark Mark keeps, he gives to the fish scientists in Florida who specialize in these species. More and more discoveries are made about these fish every year. The island right there protects the eye when she's in attack mode. Beautiful, that thing lit up in the water, man. She's lit up. This is a monster. Keep going all the way, baby. This is monster fish. 